The W2 program is a joint program between Rocket Lab and Varda Space Industries. Rocket Lab provides the bus to transport Varda's capsule that will manufacture drugs in zero gravity. And the Rocket Lab bus will keep the capsule in zero gravity in low Earth orbit around the Earth. And once the zero gravity manufacturing is complete, the capsule will then re-enter Earth's atmosphere for recovery. The Pioneer bus is a good choice for the Varda payload because the Pioneer bus is easily plug and play with any customer payload. It can be divided into three different sections. There's the avionics deck, which is the part of the spacecraft that keeps everything alive and it's how we do command and control. There's the propulsion deck, which is what we use to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Ultimately, the top of the spacecraft is what we can plug in any payload of our choice, in this case, the Varda capsule. The Pioneer bus uses the Curie prop system, which works in conjunction with our ADCS system in order to do precise burns to get the spacecraft into the orbit it needs to be in and for re-entry trajectories. The vertical integration of Rocket Lab systems allows for extremely quick turnaround times for all of our major components. I have immediate feedback and accurate timelines of when to expect my components to arrive to me, fully tested and ready to integrate onto the satellite. It also allows for much faster engineering of the satellite system as a whole. If I'm testing a reaction wheel, the responsible engineer who assembled and tested that wheel is a team's message away. If I want some insight as to what kind of configurations my flight computer was tested in, I just need to walk to the desk of the engineer who built and tested it 30 feet from where I sit. What personally excites me about this mission is that, well, I've been working on satellites for about 10 years, and this program is the first one where it'll actually re-enter Earth's orbit without burning up in Earth's atmosphere, at least the payload. And there's something really heartwarming and exciting, and just, it feels like a tremendous feeling of accomplishment seeing that payload parachuting on camera and landing safely onto Earth's ground.